Hey everybody, if you're liking these tech tip videos I've been doing lately, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot of this stuff with a lot of my really cool friends around the country and you're not gonna to wanna to miss these tips. Hi guys, Jacob Micklight here and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about fishing spinners for fall salmon. We have a classic salmon hole right behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I would work a spinner through one of these kinds of runs. What I look for is this current coming along downstream right here and it drops into a deep hole just like this. So what I'm gonna do with my spinner is I'm gonna cast it slightly upstream for my first cast. I'm gonna let it sink down for a second and I'm gonna slowly start reeling just so I can feel that blade thumping while it's sweeping across the river just like it is right now. And I'm gonna keep slowly reeling, making sure my blade's working, it's not hitting the bottom. I'm gonna reel it all the way back to the boat. It's one of the most important things while fishing spinners, especially for fall salmon, is reel it all the way back to the boat. What happens a lot of the times is these fish will follow it all the way back to the boat and grab it right at your feet. So you wanna make sure you fish it all the way back to your feet as much as possible. My next cast is gonna be slightly downstream. It's gonna be a little deeper down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this spinner sink a little longer. I'm gonna cast it out. I'm gonna give it a few second drop. I'm gonna click over and I'm gonna slowly start reeling again, working this through the hole, just lower and lower down. So what I'm gonna do is just be gritting this hole out and fish covering all the water. That's one of the benefits about fishing spinners is you can cover a lot of water in a short amount of time because you're just working it out piece by piece by piece by piece and then moving on. 